Resident rebellion from pushing for tougher rules on short-term rentals in the Fisher Park neighborhood in Greensboro to push back from neighbors on a proposed quarry in the town of Staley in northeastern Randolph County. And just last night, neighbors banded together to stop a cement plant from being built near their homes in Archdale. Recently, we have seen more communities stepping up to fight these unwanted developments. And those neighbors in Archdale were successful. Last night, the Archdale City Council denied a rezoning application for Old Glenola Road that was part of a proposal to build a new concrete batch plant in the area. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper spoke to the woman who was in charge of the grassroots efforts to fight the rezoning and what made it successful. Old Glenola Road is a mile and three tenths long. There are 29 homes on this road that people live in, families live in. Bryn Knox has lived on Old Glenola Road for over a decade. The quiet roll road has houses spread out and neighbors who keep to themselves. Until recently when Bryn would bring her community together. I started going door to door and I've knocked on over 300 doors. My conversation wasn't, here's some information. My name was Bryn Knox. Are you aware that they have proposed a concrete batch plant on Old Glenola Road? Britain was one of the three people in Old Glenola Road to get a letter saying that her quiet country road could soon be rezoned from single family residential to heavy industrial, bringing a concrete ready mix plant to the area. She saw this as an opportunity to unite her neighbors to fight the potential change. Brynn uh, got in touch with me and told me about it and her and I got to discussing what we could do. The neighborhood would soon come together with yard signs reading stop rezoning, say no to concrete factory. A lot of our neighbors got to meet each other, didn't know each other, to stand up for what they wanted and which was basically not to have that you know, on this road in this community. Neighbors would start studying, gathering information to support their case and reaching out to local officials, uncertain if it would pay off. I mean, you can you can have all the facts in the world, but it's it's up to the powers to be whether or not they'll do what you consider right or what they consider right. This battle went on for about 60 days. That's a long time. I'll say I had sleepless nights because you don't know. You know, you just hope that the city council is doing their due diligence. And on Tuesday night, hundreds of Bryn's community members would come together to have their voices heard. That made me feel great. It made me feel great that people have gone away from talking on the phone to personalization. We came together last night. We came together passionately to fight against this. After hours of public comment, Archdale City Council denied the rezoning by a vote of four to two. The concrete mix plant wouldn't be coming to Old Glenola Road, but Bryn says her community did gain something. Lifelong friendships. I hope to have a cookout at my home. I've had the opportunity and met people that I hope that I will continue this relationship and bond with. I hope that we can come together as a community. In Archdale, let your voices be heard. Elijah Skipper, Power is Numbers, Fox 8 News. Now, Brent says the community's battle is not over yet. The developer has 60 days to appeal the city council's decision, but if that happens, the organization has an attorney on standby to continue the fight. We'll keep you updated.